Hi everyone. Um, I'm downstairs uh, in the basement today uh, because everyone's still sleeping and um, I got a big day ahead of me but I really wanted to just talk to you guys and uh, we have some awesome miracle clips to follow but uh, I really felt to talk to everyone about uh, love and why we and why we do what we do. So um, you know we're commanded to go out and and heal the sick and and uh, bring people to Jesus and so on but so many people start well and then they fall away after a time and um, and I began to pray about that because um, you know it's been the cry of my heart that uh, people would you know continue in this and, and move forward because never in the history of any Christianity I've known have we ever seen so many uh, miracles uh, and so easily available as we go out and heal the sick in the streets and and I want this movement to just flourish and move forward and um, and so uh, you know I have a friend uh, Peter Allman and he always ends every video with to be continued and and you know some people come to me with uh, hey Doug what about this what about that and so on I'm happy to help with you people but what I love about Peter Allman is he always ends with just continue keep going and and that's what I want but you know, as I began to pray about it, I began to think, um, the Lord showed me that, uh, you know, it's really that we have to be in a place of compassion and love for the people we're going to meet on the street. And um, many of you know that I, I'm actually an introvert who's pushing myself beyond who I originally was. Um, and uh, maybe I'm not an introvert anymore, but inside I am. I really don't like to go out it's not my nature, but what's happened is God's placed a love in me for people that's beginning to, I would say, that my love for people is greater than my natural state of being and wanting to be an introvert. So I'm pushing myself and I'm like, because of love, I need to be something else in this moment so that um, I can bring Jesus' love to people, show them that he is real. He does love them, and he wants to have a relationship with them. And so um, we know that in, in the scriptures, uh, many of us, well, let me put it this way. Um, we all have hard hearts because of the world we live in. And it's hard to have compassion for everyone because we'd run around all the time, like, and trying, you know, and not get anything done. And, uh, and so it's really difficult. Um, our hearts are hard because in today's society, it's really difficult to care for everyone. And we meet so many people. Um, you know, we've created uh, cities with millions of people. And um, if you know, if you get, you notice if you go into a city, everybody kind of ignores everybody on the street. But if you go into a remote place, like way into the wilderness, when you meet somebody, you stop and you talk to them and, and, and you interact because there's so few people and it's a valued thing. And um, so we're a victim often of just um, being, you know, exposed to so many people that we become desensitized. And so we have to have a special place in our heart to be able to go out and minister. And the only way that we're going to get this is have letting the Lord uh, open us up um, and restore love for people uh, back into our hearts. And, um, you know, there's lots of examples in the Bible where we see hardness of our heart being um, healed and restored. In fact, that's one of the main things that Jesus came to do. Um, for example, he talks about divorce. Jesus uh, said that Moses gave you divorce because of the hardness of your heart. But he says this, it wasn't always that way from the beginning. So we see there that, um, you know, divorce was a consequence of a hardness of our hearts. And so in a way, we've become divorced from caring about people because of the hardness of our hearts. And Jesus came in that situation to restore love, and he's coming to restore love to the body of Christ again. And as we begin to love, um, how I feel about 
going out on the streets and how uncomfortable that is doesn't matter because I have a greater love for people than I do about caring about you know that this is out of my comfort zone so I really want everyone that re I want to challenge everyone that watches this video to begin to pray and ask God to restore love back into your heart for people so that we will not just go out and minister because Jesus commands it but we'll go out and minister because it's our passion because we love people and we want to see them healed and brought into the fold and into a relationship with Jesus so um, so there's so many things I could keep on and talk about but uh, but God guys just um, enjoy this video and uh, and do pray about just increasing and pray about increasing in love God bless hi I'm Doug and I'm here with Chelsea 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 you have a back pain you were just saying to your friend when you came up yeah. uh, so what's your pain level out of 10 if like 10 is the worst seven seven out of ten so that's pretty bad eh okay so I'm gonna pray for you and God's gonna heal you right now ready because you love her God I command 100% right now tendons ligaments and bones be healed right now all pain go 100% now there we go I feel something happening you don't feel probably but can you feel something no you don't have to okay now check move around try bending over that's weird <laughs> that's weird what happened it doesn't hurt it doesn't hurt seven down to a zero is that crazy are you just saying that no it actually feels good yeah like I was just working all day yeah and it just went from a seven down to a zero yeah Hi, I'm Doug, and I'm here with Ginger Hi. and uh, Jonah, a little one there. And uh, what's your name? Don. Don. And Don has a pain in his body. Where's, what's your pain, and where is it? Back in the shoulder. In the shoulder? Okay. And if 10's like the worst pain, what would you say your pain level is right now? Oh, right now, probably about two or three. Two or three? Yeah, right. Okay. Well, we're going to pray for you, and God's going to heal it up. Ready? Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Go ahead, Ginger. So right back here. So All right. right here. So, God, I thank you for meeting, Lord, and pain, I just command you to leave this body 100% now. Muscles be healed, bones, tendons, ligaments, and nerves be healed now 100% in the name of Jesus. All pain go now. And now, wait a second. There. Now check. Oh, man. Okay. Now, I want you to turn. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So what's going on? That's amazing. That's a, what did you say? That's I amazing. Say it's amazing. Why? What happened? Well, I can turn without that pain. <laughs> <laughs> so you know why that happened just now? That was Jesus saying, I love you. And he's always pulling us into a closer relationship with him. He's uh -huh. saying, I want to connect with you. 